You guys go ahead and think I'm crazy, but I'm a Montrealer and the truth is, I couldn't care less about hockey. That being said, I love food, which is why I'm going to meet with Naeem Adam, who is the VP of Creative Marketing. But Naeem also happens to be a relentless vlogger known in the online world as Le Méchant Mangeur. So what I want to do with Naeem is challenge him to take me to three different restaurants during one hockey game. It's going to be tight, but I think we can make it. So this is your day job? Yes, welcome to my day job. It's where I get all my uh, fun, creative work done. Well, now that the work day is almost over. Almost. There's a hockey game, and I would like for you to take me to three restaurants. Ooh. Uh, one per period, no sports bars. Three restaurants, one per period, no sports bars. Challenge accepted. All right. Let's go. So Naeem, in your free time, you become Le Méchant Mangeur. You run this popular blog. You go about the city. You try different kinds of food. You're also the person who co-founded uh, Burger Week MTL and Poutine Week MTL. How did those ideas come about? You're like, yeah, le let me do this. Montreal is lacking a Burger Week. I wanted to take something like with social media. I want to take food and put it together and put something fun on the plate, like a burger like puts in. How does it work? There was 30 restaurants for Burger Week, 30 restaurants for Puts in Week. And every restaurant made a special burger or puts in just for that week alone. Okay. And we invited people to go and vote. And they voted online. We even had P.K. Subban as a judge with us and uh, Louis LeBlanc. And it worked, and it was nice. Our first stop is for appetizers at Little Italy's Pastaga. Led by Martin Junot, one of the top chefs in Canada, this is a hotspot that's known for its haute cuisine and unique chef's table right in the kitchen. So Martin, Nayi chose Pastaga, the first place to go to have appetizers. So what do you recommend? We have huge oysters from BC. They're amazing. And uh, we also have char, char that we cure and we serve with uh, creamy potato salad. That's okay. sure shots. Let's eat. Yeah, let's do it. Naeem, I really, really love this place. This is a unique experience in Montreal. You won't get this anywhere else. You know, like, when we're watching a game, you want to get as close to the action as you can. Right. When you're eating, why not do the same? And with the kitchen right beside us, it's like we're right in there. And the food is just phenomenal, you know? It's uh, the kind of food you'll get when you're, when you're out at a fancy dinner, but we're adding that edge to it by being right here in the kitchen. Should we bet about this game? Let's do it. I think the Habs are going to lose. This is my cold shoulder. I'm going to say 4-1, um, Montreal. Wow. Y'a pas de problème. Whoa. They're huge. I'm going to give you a small one right here, OK? Just slurp it. You good? I'll chase it with a bit of wine. You have a flétan with the mayo at the rocket and the classic long marine. Bon appétit. Yeah, this is great. The dill in here with the fish is amazing. It's very good. Mm. We scored! Dude, we scored. Boom. This is what hockey's all about. Getting together with your friends, eating great food, watching the game, cheering. The first period is over. We got to get moving. Let's go. It's like vibrant, it's new. Oh. We have two minutes before the next period. I think this is my favorite dessert. Cut me loose. After having delicious appetizers at Pastaga, Naeem and I continue our challenge. Hit three restaurants during one hockey game, no sports bars allowed. So we just made it to our second location, just in time for the second period. 3-0. And you took me to a new place on San Laurent Boulevard. Yeah, I did. Subu. Oh, Subu. I, I find this place is like vibrant, it's new, it's what San Laurent needed, yeah. and they have this great menu. I'm hungry. You ready for the second course? Yes, I am. Did you take a look at the menu? Like it's all gourmet comfort food. Right, they got things that you've never heard of. A grilled cheese mac and cheese. It sounds like once we're done here, I might have to take an appointment with my coronary surgeon. We'll share it. Okay, and yeah. then they have the lobster kitsy. Like yeah, I'm excited. Amazing. Whoa! Wow, look at that. that that's mac and cheese, grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. Mm. Mm. This is good. Oh. So this to me is like the ultimate comfort food. Look at this, red onions and their lobster in there. Mm. That's good. Naeem, Sue is really great, but we gotta go. We have two minutes before the next period. No problem. No, wait. Let's go. Time to hit our final spot. 
Namos, an elegant Greek restaurant in the heart of the Milan. Why did you bring me here? What are we having? Luca Matis, donuts, like the new trend. Oh. Cupcakes are everywhere, now donuts are kind of coming in. I feel like donuts never left. Back in a day during the uh, Olympics, when an athlete won, they were given Luca Matis as a prize. I'm ready. I'm ready too, Nate. <laughs> Let's do this. How good is that? Mm. Just to end that night. This is perfect. I think this is my favorite dessert. Naeem, thank you. We succeeded at our challenge. I might just become a Habs fan. So that's a tip to all you guys out there. And I yeah, won the I bet. Two of your most expensive, please, <laughs> on the lady. <laughs> yeah. I won the bet there. You're gonna there. this in for like... Until we win the cup. Yeah.